Hi Pisces, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Yeah, we have Emperor coming through here twice. Others of you, this person felt they lost control over you in this situation. Uh, which is why they turned their back here as well. But I'm definitely seeing control issues here. How this person will be viewing you. And they're not the most stable when it comes to their home life because we do have Cancer, which rules our fourth house in reverse. And then we have Emperor, which is also four in reverse. So it's a, we have a lot of twos talking about indecision here as well in the past. Yes, how they're viewing you, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. They see you as someone who's single, someone someone who may be afraid of commitment here, but they really see you as someone who's quite abundant, right? We have you represented by the Empress and Nine of Pentacles, perhaps quite financially stable. You're the opposite energy from where this person's at. So you're coming through as someone who's secure, enjoying the finer things. You have everything you need to be comfortable, right? Why is Nine of Pentacles here for how this person will be viewing Pisces? Yeah, they're not communicating, but they do keep an eye on you or they watch you. And they're very impressed with what they see. It's what I'm seeing. Why is, oh, why is Nine of Pentacles here? For how this person will be viewing. Yeah, you're someone who's very popular. Um, you get a lot of attention from others, but you're not really paying attention. You're sort of in your own world. But regardless, you're recognized for the amazing person you are. People put you on a pedestal. You're very successful, some of you, in terms of what you do for a living. But they're seeing you as someone who's desirable and gets a lot of attention. Why is Eight of Swords here? Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse was wanting to be clarified by Eight of Swords. Yeah, they're seeing you as someone who's wanting to be alone wanting to be left alone you're not interested in other people's drama carrying weight that's not yours you're just not interested is how they see you you're also someone who's very lucky they feel you're someone who's Attracts a lot of opportunities your way. I want one more for the Eight of Swords. Why is this person viewing Pisces as the Eight of Swords? <laughs> Some of them feel you... Queen of Wands was wanting to come through. Some of them feel that you get a lot of unwanted attention here as well. That you may not be looking or seeking for approval from others. Right? Sometimes they see you as someone who can be a bit moody or indecisive here as well. They feel you have a lot of potential opportunities ahead of you, but sometimes you have a hard time making up your mind, which I was seeing a lot of indecision in their energy as well, right? Regardless of how this person is acting, Pisces, they do admire you, right? Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune is a very fortunate combination. But there is a little bit of moodiness here for how they're seeing you. How they'll be feeling about you, we have Page of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands upright. Let's clarify, why is Page of Cups in reverse? Well, they're not expressing much emotion here. Um, they're coming through as emotionally unavailable, but they are looking at you. If we look at the Queen of Cups, her head is turned to look at you here, right? For how they are viewing you. This person has control issues, Emperor. They may be not good at expressing emotion. They don't feel comfortable being vulnerable to another. There's some moodiness in their energy. They're going through a very, um, they're going through some difficult emotions here. And they're very unstable. Look at, we have 444, but it's in reverse. They're very unstable here, Pisces, emotionally. Why is Queen of Wands here? Now, Queen of Wands is clarified by Queen of Wands.
Some of you, this person was committed and they were looking for a fling. They were very physically attracted to you. Others of you, you could have been in a commitment with this person. I don't see that though, because you are coming through as, but you can still be in a relationship and come through as nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is more so independence, right? But whatever, this person was in a commitment, they were doing something de deceptive here with the seven of swords. And they're looking at the queen of wands, which is your energy. Some of you, this they have an ex here, someone they have children with. Some of you could be having children with this person, with Empress. I'm seeing pregnancy here. I'm getting someone who's not taking responsibility, is what I'm getting. Either they're non-committal or they were stepping out on a commitment here, is what is coming through. But they're still physically attracted to you with the Queen of Wands. But they're coming through as emotionally unavailable. Their intentions towards you, we have Ten of Swords, Hierophant, and Reverse. Yeah, they're coming through as non-committal. If there was a divorce separation between the both of you, this person's healing. But they're very stubborn. With Five in Reverse, that is when we're resisting change, right? And they're very set in their ways with Emperor and Chariot. They're moody and they're very stubborn. Clarify Hierophant in Reverse. Yeah, fives in reverse, five of wands in reverse death. Someone's stubbornness, unwilling to change is what led to this ending here with death. And some of you, this is an ending to a marriage, right? A divorce is what is coming through. What action this person will be taking towards you? We have six of pentacles in reverse, hermit in reverse. Well, this person wants to come back around to you, but if things were unequal, unstable in the past, they still are. This person's not good at cooperating or working together in a team, in a partnership, which is why we have six in reverse. They have to have it their way. They're very dominating and they have a harder time seeing things from another's perspective, making things very unequal. And others of you, this person was giving to two energies in the past. We have three of swords in their outcome. Why is six of pentacles in reverse here? For what action this person will take towards Pisces. Yeah, same energy. Ten of Swords in reverse. They're wanting to release, heal, and they're not coming together because they're saying the situation was emotionally draining for me as well. They don't, their cup is empty. All the emotions, the cup cards are all coming through in reverse here. Why is Hermit in reverse? We have a lot of threes coming through. Some of you may work with this person, which is, you know, why teamwork, you have to collaborate. This may be an authority figure, a boss. Someone that you don't have, a, you don't share a similar vision or things are not growing with three of wands in reverse. This person is resisting their urge to want to come back to you is what I'm getting with hermit they want to why is hermit in reverse i want one more <laughs> it's the same cards in two different decks okay yeah some of you <laughs> queen of pentacles hierophant someone here may not be lo um, leaving say a job um, a commitment because of finances they're concerned about their stability if they were to leave that is coming through. And others of you, this person is just unstable financially and they're worried about money. Some of them, it's child support here. Look at that. Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Definitely could be someone who's has it, having to invest in their children and they're having a difficult time managing here and they're worried about that. And they're not wanting the responsibility. Wow, okay.
Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Moon. This person is can only offer passion is what is coming through in this reading. Pentacles and cups are coming through in reverse. This person isn't bringing anything substantial or anything you can work with here. And there's delays. Some of them may be waiting on money and there's delays and they're concerned about that here as well. It's a lot about finances. How you'll be feeling, we have Page of Pentacles upright, Knight of Swords in reverse. Some of you may have to deal with this person because of children, right? But you're giving them bare minimum. Some of you, it can be a friendship. Then if you do have to communicate with them, it's very dry, right? Hi, how are you really? Um, that's about it. Why is Page of Pentacles here for how Pisces will be feeling? Yeah, you're guarded. I was seeing the Nine of Wands wanting to come through. Why is Page of Pentacles here for how Pisces will be feeling? Yeah, I see you holding back and focused on yourself. Some of you, if you have children, that is your focus here as well. But I don't see you. There's blockages in communication with the Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. I don't see you initiating anything. Magician in reverse. Some of you, it's almost a giving up energy. But Magician is Mercury. Communication, it's in reverse. So there's blockages in communication here. The outcome is very beautiful for you, Pisces. Four of Wands, Empress. You're looking very stable. I see your family being your focus here. Some of you may be off for the holidays and you're enjoying your time with family, friends. You're feeling very good about yourself. Very confident. Some of you are mothers, fathers. You're enjoying spending time with your children here. But it's talking about self-love. If you don't have children or pets, it can be talking about nurturing yourself, right? Self-care is coming through. But you're feeling happy. I see celebration around you. A lot of abundance. It's beautiful. It's a very lucky, fortunate period for you, Pisces. Is what I'm seeing. For this person's outcome, we have five of wands, three of swords, two of swords, the moon. We have conflict here. There may be drama around this person, interference from others, can be workplace drama, but I'm seeing conflict, internal conflict and external um, here. But this person's feeling very heartbroken. Some of them have a decision to make and they're saying, I don't have that clarity, I don't have enough information to make a decision. If this decision is in regards to you, Pisces, they feel they don't know where they stand. They don't know how you feel, especially if you're not communicating their separation. They don't know uh, what way to go here. Why is Five of Wands here for the person on Pisces mind outcome? King of Pentacles. Okay, this can be workplace drama, but it can definitely be something to do with family. Look at that. Two different decks, same energy. Page of Swords in reverse. Let me get this. Page of Swords in reverse. This person's not communicating, but they watch you. Nine of Pentacles was how they were viewing you. They want to see what you've been up to. They're saying, I don't have clarity. I don't know what you're doing. Some of you, if, they're, if you block them, they're assuming things about you. That you may be um, playing the field. You're looking for something more stable here. Especially if they couldn't provide that to you. Yeah, this person, be very careful of this person, Pisces. They're non-committal, they have their eye on you, but they're a liar. King of Swords in reverse. They know exactly what they're doing. King of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords, Upright, Three of Swords. They're cheater. And they have other people in their energy. And this King of Pentacles can definitely be a married man or woman. And they're stepping out. They're doing something shady here. Look at three of pentacles. We have a lot of threes coming through. 
Some of you, this person was draining you of your, not only your energy, your resources, something to do with finances. Why is Three of Swords here? Player. They are not letting go of you. Eight of Cups in reverse, Nine of Wands, King of Wands in reverse. Some of you, they're not letting go of a previous situation, yet still keeping an eye on you, waiting on this. Seven of Pentacles. So very difficult energy. No, this person's very, they can be someone who's charming, who's good with their words. Um, don't trust everything this person says. Uh, look at their actions when it comes to you. Wow, very heavy energy here. This person's waiting. What are they waiting? Waiting for the perfect opportunity. I'm preoccupied. Yeah. They're not stable and that they were trying to get their life together is what I was getting. Look at how stubborn this person is. I'm preoccupied. I like things the way they are. Resistant to change. I am not changing anything. Everyone should follow me. I'm the leader. They're very dominant, right? My way or the highway. And unwilling to compromise. This person, they're not going to budge here, Pisces. And they're very selfish is what I'm getting as well with that King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. And others of you, if, if it, they are in another commitment with the Seven of Pentacles, they're saying I've invested a lot of time, energy in that, in my marriage, in my commitment, whatever they're invested in. And I don't want to give up now, which is why there's three of swords separation here because they're unwilling to make that decision and step into the unknown. There's a fear of the unknown here. So they're sticking to what is familiar, what is comfortable. Definitely, this can be a job situation for some of you as well, right? But it is a love reading. Let's get you some love pack. Self-love was wanting to flip through. I was getting that as a strong message for you and your outcome. It's... Yeah, naivety. You see them clearly now. If you weren't confused in the past, you have the clarity. That was how they were seeing you nine of pentacles and you were choosing to be single and some of you you were confused this person led you astray which is why you pulled your energy back and they assume you're dealing with others but there's three people here and there's deception seven of swords problem push me pull me this person was giving you mixed signals here they're also not the most confident regardless of how they appear they they definitely have some issues here yeah they were giving you mixed signals. Some days they'd be nice, generous, kind. Other days they'd be cold and detached. You never knew what to expect from them. They were unpredictable, which is why they were coming through as unstable. We have problem. Yeah, there's differences in personality. You don't think the same way. Two puzzle pieces that aren't fitting together. Let's get one more. We have pain here, yeah. I see this pain, the heartbreak here in this person's energy. So whatever cheating, lying, whatever they were doing, it's backfiring, right? Because I see you doing well. Positive karma for you. Their outcome seems to be a bit more difficult here. Yeah, I might say cruel things to test you. I lash out because I feel hurt. So this may person may have been verbally abusive in the past. 
We have, I'm going to sneak back into your life and pretend nothing ever happened. I know I'm a coward, so that may be that deception. And I was telling you to be careful if they were to come back around, right? In their actions, we had them saying, well, it wasn't an equal give and take here. But they were wanting to come back around with hermit in reverse, right? After a period of separation, isolation, they want to return, but they're still the same person they were in the past. So that is something you need to be uh, careful of. Okay, we have, I'm not going to give you the impression that I like you too much. Yeah, they hold back. Very manipulative. Your emotional needs, they're going to come back saying, I'm going to compromise this time and hope we can find a resolution. Permit in reverse. But deep down, your emotional needs may go unmet. I want you for my own personal gain. They're very selfish. They're emotionally unavailable, which is why your emotional needs may go unmet. And you need emotional support, security, to be happy in a relationship. I don't think you necessarily need this person. You're feeling quite stable within yourself. They're not a vibrational alignment with you. Not at this point. I'm going to show off my greatest assets and reveal the best side of me to impress you. Yeah, so this person may have been the one that was pursuing you. They showed you their best side of themselves and then they turned out to be another way. Perhaps they presented the emperor upright someone who's very stable, they're grounded, right, trustworthy, but they turned out to be the emperor in reverse. That's for some of you. Your advice, Pisces, we have cleansing. Feeling bogged down by the weight of thousand thoughts, feelings, boxes of mystery, objects lurking in your closets. Consider this a prescription to clean house. Mentally, physically, liter literally, figuratively, and anything else that applies adverbally. It's hard to make room for new connections and experiences when every bit of your emotional space is cluttered with psychic bric-a-brac, so enjoy a major guilt-free flush-out of Craigslist. So they want you to clean house in terms of, I'm getting mental space. But yes, Pisces, take care of yourself, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye.